Hello and welcome to a Duotech Benchtop session. Uh, today we're going to be talking about brushless DC motors and transient current events. Uh, so just a couple of ideas that we want to cover. The main difference between a brush DC motor and brushless DC motor. Uh, so as the name might imply, brushless DC motors uh, don't have any physical contact between the center portion of the motor and the outside of the motor that's actually creating a magnetic field to spin the device. Um, so what that translates to in terms of design considerations is we have less maintenance and longer uh, lifetime for a brushless system versus some of the old brush systems that we're usually accustomed to or maybe replacing in some cases. Uh, so another thing that I wanted to talk about today is transient current events with motors and not just brushless motors but any uh, DC driven motor in general. Uh, so it's actually one of the design challenges we're considering in this system that you see set up here. Um, so what this system actually is, is we have uh, an AC portion uh, doing AC to DC conversion and then a DC step down module to go from our mid bus level to our final point uh, DC level and then a couple of DC brushless motor controllers that are going to be driving uh, just a single motor in this case, but the final system is set up to drive two motors simultaneously. Um, so I actually want to take a look at a simplified version of the schematic that we have here. And so what we have, you can see the AC converter on the front side, uh, the DC to DC converter that I talked about, and then just a simplified uh, motor at the output, and then our uh, capacitor, our DC capacitor in parallel with that. Alright, so the specific transient current event that I was talking about earlier, um, we've kind of set up in this case. Imagine we have the motor rotating. So we've applied current to the system, uh, the device is spinning, and everything's fine. Um, but normally to stop this motor, we would ramp down the current and bring it to a halt. Uh, but imagine something happens in the system and all of a sudden it just stops. So what happens? Um, in this case, all of the magnetic energy that was rotating the motor uh, becomes current back into the system. So under longer current events, we get this issue where we have a voltage rise at the output of our DC converter. Um, now if the specifications on the DC converter are high enough, it's not an issue. But in this case, they're low enough and the transient event creates enough current to raise the voltage above the specification for the output of that DC converter. Um, so we have a couple of options, a couple of design considerations for how to solve this. Uh, the first one being add more capacitance. Increase the time constant, voltage rise is slower, we stay under that output specification. The issue in this system is that we're also space constrained. So increasing the capacitance means moving more space somewhere else, and it also means that trying to start the DC converter up takes longer and may cause problems in the startup of the system. So a larger capacitor, not an option. Um, another consideration that we had would be adding more resistance. Uh, same kind of approach, you know, increase the time constant and we can keep the voltage from rising too far in the system. Uh, the considerations for that would be though, we're generating more heat we're burning, burning more power and we have lower efficiency overall for the system. So what we actually end up doing for this is adding uh, an extra electronic control in parallel with our output capacitor so that under normal operation we're not burning any more power, it stays uh, completely consistent and then under the transient events we actually shunt the current back to ground and burn off the power in that case but we're not adding overall heat to the system under steady state operation. This has been a Duotech Benchtop session. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, if you're interested in finding out more about electrical or mechanical engineering systems and design solutions, uh, check out our YouTube channel here and please subscribe or visit www.duotechservices.com.